If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. You're listening to The Interview Show with Seth Goldstein on the phillytech.org netcast network. Thank you to our sponsors, wistia.com, Zoho Mail, and getflywheel.com. Hey everybody, and welcome to another edition of the interview show. I am here with Afonso Todd. Hey he is, everybody. He is the founder and CEO or president of Epicenter. Um, yeah. a, how would you describe Epicenter, Afonso? Uh, the Epicenter is a marketing, promotion, social media, uh, slash event coordination type of company. Uh, we've been around now, this is our first year, but uh, I've been doing it on my own as far as an entrepreneur for the past 10 years. It's just an evolving uh, entity. You know, it's gone from through many changes, but yeah, this is the first year, our first year uh, anniversary is actually May 1st, so we're coming up on it. Mazel tov. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Yeah, so, 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 so what kind of social media, like, what, like, describe it a little bit more, what kind of stuff do you do for your clients? All right, uh, for our clients, when it comes to social media, we actually work with our, you know, an entity called Prolific Radio. That was my first real, um, I guess, uh, venture that, that actually started paying was our Prolific Radio, www.prolific, P-R-O-L-I-F-I-C-K.com. And basically, it was an internet radio station that we developed four years ago. Um, we were playing independent artists' music. And in between that, we were having talk shows, but we saw that the talk shows were actually more valuable because we were giving people platforms. So I used that as a way to obtain clients, whether you were a doctor, life coach, um, you know, uh, any type of professional, we went in and we offered them platforms. So where a lot of people were either writing eBooks or books or anything like that, they wanted to stand apart. We were like, hey, let me give you a radio show. And that's what they did. They would come in and pay us a fee for their hour time and uh, they would um, go on and talk about different tips or interview people, things of that nature. And my job was to make sure that the broadcast and everything went off without a hitch. Now, do you know your listeners? You know, how many listeners you get on Prolific Radio on a daily basis? Yeah, basis? Uh, we're, basis? We're, we're, yeah, yeah. We, we were actually, the highest that we, able, we were able to get were about uh, anywhere between five and 10,000. But I, yeah, yeah, not bad. But what we found is that, and this is just my opinion, is that the technology is changing. Uh, what we, we've always used it for a, uh, it was the main source, but as the technology changed, because, you know, we went from everybody being rah, rah, five or six years ago about internet radio and having your own station. It went to now you have iHeartRadio. All the radio stations that were on the airwaves now are starting to get it. So now we use it mostly as a platform, as one of the things that we use when it comes to, uh, epicenter so we still use it but we use it as a component that we add to bring value up for the other things that we do so what are the other things that you do uh we also um create a uh, uh, event we do event coordination we do a you you were just at the atec which is one of yes. our um newer, yeah yeah one of our newer events this you were there at the first year we do healthcare events uh we do we've done car shows uh, any events that are community-based uh free to the public uh, that can have vendors and sponsorship, we create those. Um, we, you know, we average about anywhere between um, our, our smallest event has, you know, our, well, three to 400 people, um, unless it's a newer event where we might get, you know, 20 or 30. We're trying to venture out this year to do newer events. Um, again, we were talking about ATEC, that Allentown Tech that you were yes. at. We're actually doing a it's a con, a comic con kind of. Uh, oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah, do, do this year. Uh, we're actually doing another car show. And um, and we're doing a women's conference also. So so we're venturing out. We for the past five years we have been doing um, health expos, and that was our specialty. So you know that's that's doing good. That's doing great. But we want to make sure and we want to expand. Expand very very mm -hmm. very neat. So what else do you guys do? We also um, just launched a new newsletter called Relevance, which is doing really good. 
uh, what we the, the what we wanted was to create another platform for people um, if they wanted to either be in the paper or online with the internet version. Um, we found that a lot of the small businesses couldn't afford to be in the, the local big newspaper or the local uh, big magazines. So we created a simple newsletter so that people could promote their uh, businesses for as low as $70. We put it out. It blew up. People are calling us daily trying to get it in. We have three sales staff. Um, awesome. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and what we're doing is, yeah, and, and I think that the sale is that we, we took it back to the early 50s and 60s where we actually hand handing them out to people at different events and everything and people like that because now they don't have to worry about their business or company being in a publication that's just sitting and collecting dust somewhere we're actually putting it in people's hands Personal uh, touch. yeah yeah exactly so people are loving that so yeah that's another one of the projects that we're doing and where what's the circulation of um relevance like, where, um, right where now, is number one well believe it or not it's throughout the lehigh valley but since it is uh we do it is internet based also we actually are cultivating clients out of atlanta we wow. actually, have, we actually, um, I'm taking a trip down to Florida to talk to some people down there. Uh, we actually are trying to cultivate people out of um, New Jersey, Philly, and New York as well. So because it is internet based, it's not just you know here in the valley. That that's why we it's called relevance. It's for everybody. It's relevant. There yeah, yeah, go. yeah. So we so well, where it, do you it, find it online? Uh, you can go to www. relevance r e l e v uh, a N C E dot epicenter us E P I C E N T E R U S dot com. Relevant www dot relevance dot epicenter us dot com. Yeah. So it's a subdomain off of your main site. That's very clever to kind of keep everything kind of geared towards epicenter. Yes, yes, yeah. We we found that the brand is uh, very important, and you know, I'm 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 learning. You know, it's been ten years, and I've you know, I didn't know I was doing SEO when I didn't even know what SEO was. I was absolutely. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, you know, I was in there when it was just MSN and MySpace. <laughs> oh, I remember MySpace. Those yeah, good old I, days of um, yeah, exactly. of NA exactly. gifts, which are back. Exactly. And um, auto playing music when you go to someone's page. Oh my god. <laughs> exactly. But you know, I remember how much time I spent trying to find the right song. Right, I, 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 and you, you believe it or not, um, you know, people have been trying to pull my space back up. I think um, Justin I Timberlake. Remember, yeah, yeah. I think one of the artists he actually invested in it, and he was trying to pull it back. But it's, you know, let's face it. Once you, once you're called obsolete, it's hard to come back from the dead. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so yeah. In MySpace, actually, there was a site called MySpace Online. I think way back when, where it was an email address and it was a kind of a, a visual like town. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. I, can, I can't find it, but it, it was a really neat concept. Like you were in a town. And mm -hmm. it, like it was, it was a neat concept. So, but um, yeah. so what else are you up to? Um. So yeah, and so with with that, uh, with those three things, plus um, you know, we we're still doing promotions and marketing for our regular clients. Uh, we're always looking for the the next big thing. Uh, you know, right now we're we're actually in the works. I'm I'm trying to get with, with the internet uh, uh, radio coming off the ground and relevance and everything. We I've always had this thing where I wanted to get this internet uh, TV or video because video is the new thing now. People Absolutely. really don't want to read right now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we want video right now. I told you to do. I told you to do your makeup this morning. So. Exactly, exactly. So what we're trying to do is to uh, create maybe a monthly or bi-monthly show where we're actually able to almost do like what you're doing, but talk to more of the community businesses in our area and, uh, and, and actually, you know, just create that uh, drive of the, you know, a, a drive of the people or the drive of the uh, traffic. And it's all, that's what it's all about, driving the traffic, creating things so that people will know about what you're doing and they're willing to pay because it's all about the value. That's one thing that's never going to change. You know, it's, it's all about you being relevant. It's all about you being seen. And that's all we're just using these different components um, that I have in order to push it as much as possible. So, you know, uh, you know, so that's that's basically um, what's going on in the world of um, the epicenter. We're we're excited for 2015. Um, you know, where I'm I'm also getting into seminars and workshops, uh, talking about uh, business entrepreneurship, um, about you know basically things that I've done and I've accomplished and how other people can do it too. I'm not really into the uh, multi-level marketing, but I am into just telling people that you can create it. You know, if it's already done, it's good. But if you want to do it for yourself, as far as creating something out of nothing, I, I that's that's where I come from, and I'm doing Absolutely. some seminars and workshops um, to start pushing that. Awesome, that's great. So, where can people find you online? They can go to www.epicenter.epicenter.com. 
You can also go to my, um, it's, a, it's an older website, but it has information about my vision. It's www.alfonzotod.com. That's A-L-F as in Frank, O-N-S-O-T-O-D-D.com. Awesome. Well, mm -hmm. thank you for being on the show, Alfonso. No problem. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it. Yeah, and be sure to check out all of our sponsors on the website. And if you'd like to contribute um, our, to our, our network, please go to patreon.com slash Philly Tech or give what you can on a monthly basis. Help us build out the network and bring more people like Alfonso onto the network to discuss what they're doing for the community. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.